Condamine belly, that's the condamine shape. Being all handmade, they were a bit expensive, so I think, even at the time. Condamine of the township, where they first made, and they made with worn out saw blades in the first place, but they, they, they couldn't have been very big because it would be about that size. But that's that's a, more or less a cow bell, horse bell, so I think, you know, three inch bell. But that's the shape of a condamine bell. I see those sheets against the wall, they're high tensile steel, and I cut, I cut them out of the thing and then I put them on the former. See, there's two bolts on the top there, I put them on the shape, shape them. Uh, then they go into the forge with a, a mix of brass and copper, and it, it seals the bell. So there was a bloke, he was driven on his own and he got sandy blight but I think it affected her eyes or anything, you know, and he was blinded temporarily. Anyway, it's only for his bells on his horse that he knew where to get, he got his horses or anything, and let them go and they'd go home, a horse would go home. I retired in 19, two, two, in 2000 at least. And then I just said, geez, it's a shame these bells are going to die, you know. And I thought that's what I started with them because I had acquired heaps of bells. People threw them away. The, no, the horses were finished in about 1960. I can't be the last because Mike will be the last. I think, you know, yeah. We're the only ones left with making these bells. I think, plenty, plenty of tryers. Plenty of tryers, they can't get it right. So I think, you know, so.